everybody, it's Teresa with ReStixon.com back with another ornament for our cozy Christmas tree. I didn't want every ornament to just be sweaters, so I was trying to brainstorm some different kinds of things that I could make that would kind of allude to these Christmas classics without just being more of the same thing. And so when I was thinking about sweaters, I was thinking about that classic argyle pattern, the diamond with the lines coming across. Um, that It's just a classic. It looks amazing all the time because it's one of those things that will never go out of style. And so I wanted to replicate that on my Christmas tree. So here's these little ornaments that I came up with. They're just simple little square pillows of fleece with that little argyle impression on it. So these can be great if you've seen my How to Decorate a Christmas Tree tutorial. If you make a ton of these, these could be great workhorse ornaments or mid-range, but I think that they're really adorable even on their own. So this is so simple. All I did was buy some polar fleece and the kind that I happened to find was printed with these little squares on them. So I just decided to use that and cut them apart and that would be the pattern. But you can just use whatever fleece you happen to have on hand. And these squares work out to be about three inches wide and long. And so then you'll need a diamond piece. And this is cut out of more polar fleece. And all I did to get this pattern was I printed a little diamond pattern off on my computer and cut that out. And I got this by just going to Word, opening my word processor and making a shape. But you can certainly just Google diamond shape and you'll find something you can use. So with my diamond piece all cut out, I'm just going to place that on one piece of my square polar fleece. And I'm using my sewing machine today, but you can do this by hand too. I'm going to sew all the way around as close to the edge as I can steer. Okay, there we go. So now with that done, I have to add those crossed lines. And I'm gonna do that part by hand. I've got this thicker thread. This is called pearl cotton. It's um, with all of the embroidery floss in the embroidery section of your craft store. And I'm just going to do a simple running stitch across and across. And I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not marking it or anything, but you could just use a ruler and a pencil if you wanted to. And I will just stitch all the way across and then knot it off at the back. And it's that simple. Here's my piece all stitched up. And now I'm ready to make it into a little pillow ornament. If you watched my ugly Christmas sweater <laughs> ornament tutorial, you saw how I did this. So here's another little piece of that pearl cotton. And I'm going to, I've got it bent over to make a loop and I'm gonna put that in between the two layers. And that's what will hang my ornament. And then put another piece on top and I'm gonna sew all the way around leaving about an inch open to turn it, reinforcing the points where I'm, uh, where I'm leaving it open and reinforcing where the hanger goes. Then I turn it inside out and stuff it, like this one here, and close that up. You can glue it or stitch it, and the stitching instructions are on that Christmas tree sweater tutorial. Um, and that's it, you're done. So I have made so many of these because they work up so fast that even though I think they are just as sweet as pie, I'm probably going to be using them as more of my workhorse ornaments. But I think they do deserve a little time in the spotlight. So I just had this thought as I was working on this, I think what would be so adorable is if I use them as little gift tags or little package decorations on all the presents I'm giving out this year. So I thought if instead of ribbon, I used some of that finger knitting I did and then had these as the package decorations, how cute would that be, right? <laughs> so I hope that I've left you with some great ideas and inspired for decorating and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you get to see lots more of my great cozy Christmas ornament ideas. You're not gonna wanna miss a thing. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.